Hello everyone, my name is Kaz. And I'm Rosella. And I recently experienced a game called Dark Souls, <laughs> but in a new way. Oh really? Yeah, a, a Reddit user made an item randomizer for the game where all the glowies and treasures are switched around and you can play the game that you know and love in a fun new way and go crazy paths and treasure hunt for all kinds of stuff and get cool stuff right out of the gate and then spend 11 hours trying to find the Covenant of Artorias. Because... For example. Yeah, that, that could happen. It could even be in the DLC, I learned. <laughs> but uh, it was one of the most complicated hacks, randomizers, whatevers that I've ever had to do. And so I realized it was so difficult, I had to marry a computer scientist to get it installed. And so I did. And here I am. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there are there are four programs that you need in order to get this to work. Uh, you need the randomizer itself. And all the links will be in the description. Um, you need the randomizer. You need a rebuilder, uh, a B&D rebuilder uh, for Dark Souls. And you need a hex editor. Anyone will do. We're using uh, HXD because it's pretty. Um, and you need Dark Souls. You do need a copy yeah, of Dark Souls. Yeah, you have to have Dark Souls. That that link will not be yeah, in the description. Mine is the Steam Dark Souls Prepare to Die Edition version of the game. I do believe that this works with the non, uh, non-DLC, just like vanilla Dark Souls. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know for, for, for certain, though. I, I believe that it should. Yeah. In my heart, I believe yeah. that it will. Well. But, uh... So yeah, first things first, uh, you need to open your hex editor, which I do not have open, actually. Alright, so here it is. This is the one HXD. we use. You can use any hex editor as long as it can do the things that we are about to do. Alright, the things that we are about to do are uh, open a file. You have to open the find replace menu. Set search direction to all. Check Unicode string. And then, so what we're going to do is we're going to search for um, DVD BND zero colon. I'm going to pronounce that DVD bind because it's a database bind folder and don't worry about it. Um, and we're going to replace it with DVD root. Hit replace all. Seven, Seven occurrences. occurrences. Hooray. Beautiful. And uh, we're actually going to do this for, for three other DVD binds. But... Yeah, it does not have an I in it. Right. So this is kind of the scary step for me. We are quite literally editing an executable file to change how it thinks. That's, <laughs> that's it's thrilling. scary. <laughs> what we're actually doing here is essentially instead of, um, instead of making it so that it looks in the... Um, like it'll look in these like source data folders. Instead of looking at that, it'll look in the root directory. So... We're going to save the executable here, which yep. is beautiful. And this is the part where let's, right. let's talk about... <laughs> um, I think it actually creates this uh, exe.mac oh, file. Oh, a file. Oh, neat. Um, perhaps. Yeah, there, there might be a way to, to restore it to like correct or original form or whatever. Um, but you can, you can reinstall Dark Souls if something goes wrong. Which I had to do just tonight <laughs> because something went wrong. It's true. But uh, yeah, it's, it's not a big deal. We're, big we'll teach deal. you the right way to mm -hmm. do it. It'll be fine. So that's that's it for the hex editor. Uh, you've saved the saved saved the game, but like <laughs> the save game. Save the game. <laughs> All right. So now we need the rebuilder, mm -hmm. which... Uh, this is one of the other links that we have in the description below. Yeah, this is the like How to find the, uh, the, bun, the bun rebuilder. I'm, I've been pronouncing it bind, because uh, it's... If you don't mind making it really wide, for reasons that will become apparent later. Ah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Thank you. So, so what you want to do is extract this uh, BHD5 file. So let's drag this in here. Looks like I don't have to make it that wide. Uh, oh, to hit extract. Oh, but we will. Okay. <laughs> so, um... The... The thing, the, the program will apparently <clears throat> freeze. Yeah. Uh, you'll see it, it created a couple .back files. It created a folder. Um, but right now it's it's extracting everything in the, the data file. Right. Don't worry about this. 
and yeah. do not interrupt it. <laughs> it. It is working. It it won't say anything until it's done, basically. So, um, so yeah, the randomizer is really great. I had a pretty good experience with it so far, uh, especially having to take different routes and remembering where all the items were <laughs> because I got to surprise everyone with like, hey, an item is there. And of course, I start going on about my experience with the randomizer and it uh <laughs> it's fine we got we got three more files oh okay um the the first one takes the longest second one takes the second longest and then the two and three are done instantly yeah they're they're really small by comparison uh still very important though yes yeah definitely you you need to do this with all of them you will be sad if you do not <laughs> it's true So in addition to this particular randomizer, this setup that we're doing will make it easier to mod Dark Souls with other stuff too. Yes, this uh, this whole process is actually for for just sort of any any mods because essentially what we are doing is taking the files from like within like they are essentially just just proprietary archive files, mm. and we're we're taking them out of that and uh, and. Making them oh, visible. We can... <laughs> Number two, done right away. It's already right. done. Oh no. <laughs> but it's hard, it's hard. man. <laughs> Alright. Mice are confusing. Alright. Tiny. They eat your so, food. Yeah, we will um we will use this later, so don't worry about it. <clears throat> so um in DVD bind zero, a couple of the files didn't quite get extracted properly. Uh, these are related to the DLC. If you don't have the DLC installed, these wouldn't be there. But um Right. And now, these, this is in the description. Yeah, don't well. worry about typing it out yourself. Um it, the the correct thing to do is in the description of this video or should be, and it's also in the uh, Reddit thread, so you can like copy and paste things from there. Yep. And they are in a in order, so you can essentially just go down the list. And, uh, and rename them here. Note that the files themselves actually don't have a file extension name. Um, yeah, generic file. Yeah. Yeah. So if, if you don't have your computer set up to display file extensions, it might it might get a little confused with this. So make sure you can see the file extension so that you, you are actually changing the extension. Um, but now that it's done, we're actually just gonna take these and put them in the SFX folder. Oh, right, I remember that. So if you don't do this exact step, all of the projectiles for the DVD bosses, or the DVD bosses, the, <laughs> down, the DLC bosses will be invisible. Mm. That's the only thing that actually changes. So the, the game will run, it'll be playable, but... It'll be challenging. <laughs> let me tell you, that is a thrill house. So yeah, for every folder in here, we don't need the file list uh, file, but for every folder in here, we're actually gonna go back to the data directory and just paste it here. All right, so we're just copying and pasting from these extracts to yeah. the root directory, sort of completing the circle of what we did earlier with telling the program to look in the root directory for stuff. We are putting the stuff in the root directory where it expects it to be. Where it can find it. This is recommended, highly recommended. Yes. We may have done it incorrectly tonight. All right, so yeah, when uh, it'll come up and it'll be like, do you want to, this already contains things. Just yes, everything is fine. Copy and replace. Yep. Don't worry about it. Um, yep. Do this for two it's items. just fine. And 32 conflicts. So. Now that we've done that, um, we have essentially opened up the game. All of the, the source files are right here, and the game should run perfectly normally. Mm -hmm. um, you'll have to trust us on that because I don't want to. Yeah, we're, we're right not now. gonna we're not gonna be running the game right now, but it, it will work. So now uh, we're actually going to edit the items. So we'll go to param game param, and there's this param bind dcx. So we're going to bring back the Rebuilder and put in parambon.dcx. Beautiful. And extract that. And you can see the, the new files appear. Yeah, and, and this actually... is also very quick. So you extract the DCX file, then it creates this parambind file. We're going to extract that. And we got a folder. We got a lot of folders. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Just a 
So this a this goes on for folder level a long folders. time. <laughs> okay. And now <laughs> the the thing that we're the parameter that we're actually going to be changing is item lot dot param. Um, you should probably make a backup of this uh, of this file. So I'm just going to put that in our our Dark Souls randomizer. Right. This is a this is our kind of working folder for the the programs that we need. The uh, just in case something goes horribly wrong. And my own list of instructions in case I forget how to do this. Yes. So now we need the randomizer itself, which again you can download from the internet. Which admittedly we did just download from the we internet. We did just download so from you're the internet. Right. Yeah. Okay. Thank Microsoft. you, Windows. Thank you, Windows. All right. So this is the actual randomizer. Yep. And um, this this is what you'll be doing. So everything that we have done so far is set up. Now that it's set up, which is good, this is what you have to do every time you want to make a new randomizer. So you can uh, select your, your various difficulty settings. Do you want to, do you want to start Yeah, on I personally recommend starting on hard. Like if you're the kind of person who plays Dark Souls enough where you want to switch the items around, I'm pretty sure you want the like hard experience. You already know where all the items are. And in normal difficulty, it does not change where key items go. So, yeah. Uh, so I wanted that, and yep, it was great. So then the, you actually have to change your route. Right. The paths that it comes up with for you are preposterous in some cases, but you can always get where you need to go. Um, the, only, the only part that I don't like about it that I've experienced so far is, in particular, the Covenant of Artorias again, where mm. you need this item, okay, it's somewhere, good hunting. Like, the Have entire fun. game is available to you now. Good luck. <laughs> All right. So the, there are really, there aren't too many options. The, the, the difficulties explain themselves, more or less. Um, if you want to, like, make the same thing as your friends, you would hit generate new seed, or and, and you can send yeah, this you, to your friends. Or if they sent you one, just paste it here. Mm -hmm. uh, you can also hit generate cheat sheet, and it'll, like, give you the list of everything and where it is. Right. That in particular is if you're stuck, you can yeah. pull out the, the cheat sheet and be like, okay, what can I get to... Where is this item actually? I've forgotten. Oh, there's also Fashion Souls. Mm. Fashion Souls is important. Uh, if it's unchecked, then all the armor sets stay together. If you check it, then all the armor sets get split up. So you get this this horrible mismatch of, <laughs> uh, of armor, and it's beautiful. Yeah, you will have to develop your own style if you were to do this. So, regardless of whether of what you picked here, I'm going to put it on hard. You can um, scramble items and export. You'll... Sorry about this. Yeah, again, we've already done this, so it already knows the right folder to go to. You'll have to manually navigate all the way through Steam apps, data, game param, da 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 Yeah, go, go to the deep folder, folder and then... And, uh... Yeah. It, it will automatically save the file as item lot param dot param. You don't have to set that. Save it. Yes, we do want to replace it. That's the entire point. Um... And then we're and done with the, the, with the randomizer part of it, but we still need to use the BND. Yes. So here's here essentially we we opened up all these files into the folders that they contain, and now we want to uh, zip them back up so that the game can read them. So first we need to take the param bind, which is actually already here. Yeah, because we that was the last thing we extracted. It's now ready to be rebuilt so right away. Rebuild, and it'll take the uh, source and put it back together. Then we need to take the DCX file, which is what the game is actually reading, and rebuild that as well. It zips to the top, it's fine. And now parambine.dcx is rebuilt. Oh, and, yeah. yeah. Oh man. Now, oh, man. <laughs> you, you play good. Dark Souls, so. Okay. Yeah, just just hit the play button over there. I'm gonna. I, I presume that they know how to play Dark Souls. Yeah. If you do not know how to hit the play button on Dark Souls, I cannot help you. Um, Please don't crash. It'll be fine. <laughs> so yeah, there it is. There's the there's the loading screen. The game uses an autosave yeah. function still. Right. And uh, you can experience the same game that you know and love in a brand new way, like I did, and like <laughs> I will probably continue to do, because this is pretty great. I think it's always going to come down to a, a search for, like, Oh, oh my goodness, where is the key? This game is so massive, I forgot how massive it is. That's... 
Alright. Yeah. Who's that character? That's a good one. Could be starting as Dark Souls. It's a good name. Uh, I want to be a th No, don't be a thief. Okay, I, I didn't mention this, but okay, thief starts with the master key and anyone can choose master key as the gift. If you want the experience of like hunting around for key items, don't do this. Yeah. This like crucially opens up a couple places that the random randomizer does not take into account. So I, I highly recommend not picking master key or thief. Yeah, the game just becomes a you, you're not getting the experience of trying to reroute your own way through the game. All so right. if that's what you're looking for, then you're not going to get it. So, um, ordinarily, you start here and there's a key. And this time you do too. Yeah. I mean, yeah. If you, if you <laughs> did not get the key to this room you are locked in, uh, yeah. this randomizer would be extremely short. It would, would be pretty bad. You just re-roll until, uh, until See, you get there, a lucky key. There are sanity checks in the randomizer. Uh, to make the game completable. I like that they're called sanity checks because some of the things that it s decides is an acceptable route are absolutely insane. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> Just uh, be comfortable with the skeleton graveyard is all I'll say for that. But yeah, nothing like, essentially no Where's key should be behind the, hey, buddy. the door it unlocks. Hey, hey buddy. Uh, directly or there? indirectly. Let's see if I got, let's see if I got it. Oh no. Oh, yeah. Oh, that hit! That actually hit. Oh, and that one didn't, so good work. Or rather, he didn't hit you. Yeah, he needs to dodge, really. Okay, so ordinarily when you kill him on their first time, he drops a demon's great hammer. But this time he gave me soul of a proud knight. Thanks, bud. Nice. <laughs> that's, uh, that's pretty good. Uh, I was hoping for something more exciting. I've gotten Titanite Slab <laughs> from him. Uh, I've, I've gotten... Just a plain old, like, weapon? I think I got Claymore. Anyway. No, no, let me pass. These two are always your starting weapon and shield, if you have them. So, like, that's not randomized away. Otherwise, oh boy, starting with no weapon, <laughs> that would be exciting. Yeah, I mean, that, Heck, that would make I... your black fire bombs necessary. Yeah. Maybe that's not cool. I highly recommend the black fire bombs just so you can kill the uh, the guy pretty straight in a pretty straightforward way without having to like punch him to death for 25 minutes or whatever. There aren't any, any more items for me here, so I'm going to leave. And I do want to pick up the ones in Lordran once we get there, just to see what uh, what we got. In case you aren't yet convinced. Yeah, <laughs> he doesn't drop soul of a proud knight. Also, this is the fun part, right? We want, like, the fun part in the video. <laughs> yeah, this, is, this is to whet your appetite for mm, the, uh, the fun you could be having. I, I wish you all the best of luck in your, in your random endeavors. Also, I guess if you've never played Dark Souls before, spoilers. Oh, man. Uh, if you've never played Why Dark Souls be before, I don't recommend this. All right. So ordinarily, there are three humanity here. And now it's painting guardian plums. Mm. Oh jeez. Nice. Uh, not the not the smorgasbord that I was expecting. Ooh, miracle sunlight blade. That's more like it. You can start out with powerful stuff like this right out of the gate in uh, in the game of Dark Souls. Now we have a goal. I have to get the thirty faith and use this thing. All right. Ooh boy. <laughs> Well, anyway, that uh, that is the randomizer, and like I said, um, the only things you have to do to, to re-roll for a new randomizer is open it up, save the params file, and rebuild the param bind and param bind DCX file. Right, so that was what, starting from yes. 18 here? Yep. 18, go back. 19, and then, and then 20. Well, I presume 21 also. You cause... should probably also do 21. Uh, <laughs> you that's can, recommended. You can make a cake and then not eat it for some reason if you're that kind of person. But that's... That's it. That's it. I'm going to go eat cake now that I mention it. So, All right. Good night, everybody. Have fun.